Hey guys, so I started flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator about a year ago. And of course, I was blown away by what I was seeing in my, inside my Reverb G2, and I was so excited. Um, and uh, then I went to record it, and here's what I came away with. Yeah, a bit disappointing. Um, and so I stopped recording what I was seeing because it looked so bad in the VR mirror that's built into Windows Mixed Reality that you can get at by pressing a play button that usually appears here, unless you have your Mixed Reality settings on performance, in which case it doesn't appear there. Um, uh, and, uh, and gave up. Um, but very recently, I figured out a way to record uh, very high quality, and this is what it looks like now. And uh, put them side by side, and you get an impression of uh, the difference of what you're seeing. And what you're seeing here is a 1080p feed at probably around 50 uh, frames per second, maybe a bit higher. That's my target FPS, but you can record as high an FPS as the headset is seen, um, provided your monitor is going at that rate, I think. Um, and uh, what we're going to do to make that work is we're going to take the binocular vision of Flight Simulator, which looks like this, and we're going to stretch this window um, uh, to make it the full uh, size of your monitor. Um, and that's going to enable us to see that full size. Now, um, there's basically two things we're going to do. One is allow you to have the monitor uh, full screen, so you can see this full, full, this sort of what person seen in one eye full screen, and the other is actually record it. Uh, but you may only be interested in just seeing um, uh, full screen monitor. So yeah, okay, the first thing we're going to do to make this work, um, what we're going to do is download a little program called AutoHotKey, which is a free program, um, and it's an open source program, um, and we're going to write a little script for it, which I'm going to give you the entirety of, so you don't need to worry about that at all. Um, then we're going to make sure that script runs at startup, so we can always run it, um, and then that's it. That's it. There is no step whatever. Um, you just press a, a key. In my case, it's, I think, uh, Control F6, but you can choose anything you want. Uh, and uh, your um, VR mirror becomes full screen. So uh, without further ado, let's download and install it. So let's go to here and search for auto hotkey. There it is. Um, now, uh, very important, uh, use version 1. Um, and the reason uh, to use version 1 is because my script is written for version 1. I didn't even realize uh, the version 2 came out until I started making this video a second ago and realized I couldn't do it with version 2. Um, so we are going to open up uh, version 2, and there it is. Version 1, sorry. Forget about version 2. Do not install this. Delete it if you have it. Uh, if you make it work for version 2, well done. Um, uh, I uh, only have uh, version 1 uh, hot, hotkey script. So install version 1. Uh, I guess express. Mm, it seems like it's done already. That's amazing. So uh, run it, I guess. And it will give you a bunch of tutorials and tell you all kinds of complicated things you don't need to know about that you can do with AutoHotKey, which, by the way, is an amazing program. And there are other programs we could use to do exactly what I'm doing. I just like HotKey because it combines making the window big with a HotKey I can press. Um, some other things will let you make the window big, but you need then to figure out a way to HotKey that. And by HotKey, we mean keyboard command we can run to make this happen every time. So the first thing to do after you've installed AutoHotKey is left click on anywhere, like here, and you go new, and then auto hockey script. Okay, right. open it with notepad. Okay, uh, and it gives you some thingies. Uh, and then uh, here's one I made earlier. Um, there's a Blue Peter show in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s that used to say this. Uh, we're going to copy paste what I've made earlier into here. That's all we need. Boom, boom. Okay, now, so we've, once we've made this script, um, all you need to do is uh, close Notepad. So remember, we use Notepad to, open, to uh, edit it, okay? And then just double-click it. That's it. Done. A little thing appears. It will show in your bar here. That is your little script running, okay? Now, let's make it run on Startup as well. Actually, if you just go Windows R, I think, and then Shell colon Startup, you see what I've typed there? Then you'll see your Startup things. And then make sure you see you've got this script starting at Startup. Make sure it starts at Startup. That's it, okay? And that's it. We're done. All it does is when I press Control F5, it makes the window normal. It makes Microsoft Flight Simulator win normal, just like this. And by the way, I'm running at 1080p by uh, 1920, which is obviously 1080p. You might be running at uh, different resolutions, in which case you put different numbers in here. Um, and you can figure out the numbers to put in there. It's not very complicated. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to make the uh, Flight Simulator window very big so that the left eye mirror fits the entire screen. Uh, and basically what it tells it to do is make the Microsoft Flight Simulator window um, normal or very big. Um, and uh, that's it. Let's watch it now. Are you ready? Here it is. It's going to be magic. Boom. Boom.
very high quality mirror. And uh, I'm gonna move my headset now, sorry for the noise change. Here's what it looks like. That's my full screen. You're recording my full screen and that's, this is it. It's so easy, done, done. We have a full screen mirror at, at full quality you know, full frame rate. I think I'm recording at 48 frames a second right now, but you could record at 60 or even 90 frames a second uh, and it would look spectacular. Okay, done. So, um, now, I said I'd show you one more thing and I will. Uh, and by the way, when you want to go back, just press the other hotkey you created. So, so inside uh, the hotkey thingy, um, inside the hotkey thingy, you can choose what your command's going to be. Mine is control F5 to make the window uh, normal size uh, and, and control F6 to make it very large to show the mirror okay but you can make it the, anything you want and, and you just have to look at the hotkey the auto hotkey um, documents if you want to understand how, how this works that means control that little arrow up means control the hat uh, and this is F5 obviously you could have it just be F5 or just F6 um, you could have it be anything you want uh, and that's basically uh, the way it works so now the more interesting juicy part is how do I record this um, and there's two ways to record it one is literally to record the whole screen. So um, when you record the whole screen, uh, if you look at what I'm looking at here and I make it big, let's make it big, okay? Uh, and maybe go back to, there we go. Okay, there, make it big. Uh, and then there you see, that's it. I'm recording the whole screen right now. You can see I'm obviously recording OBS, so you've got the never ending tunnel of windows here, but um, that's basically it. Now the other, if you want to, I think have less CPU, although it doesn't really seem to make a difference to me, is you can just record the MSFS screen itself. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna show that now. Um, and now it's behind, so I'm just gonna move it in front. Whoopsie, there we go. Uh, oops, uh, is that right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop capturing my own display. And now you'll see the MSFS screen. And basically look, the screen is very, very big. You can see the shaded area where it's very big. Drag the screen to wherever you want. Make sure it's in the middle of your, uh, of your view. Um, and that's it. So if you go on my, my properties now, just to be clear, I have a 1080p monitor um, and, uh, and I'm recording this whole thing at 1080p, but you can go as big as you want, uh, probably. Now I've had no performance degradation so far with using this method of making the Windows, uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator window very large. Um, your mileage may vary, uh, but so far I've had absolutely no performance uh, degradation and I record my screen all the time and it's super cool. So here is my transform. Um, basically, uh, minus uh, the position of this Microsoft window is uh, minus 327. Uh, and then the size is, is this. Now it's a little bit larger than the uh, um, 4K display, the 4K window that I've made this into. Um, and the reasons for that are otherwise you get sort of slight, slight borders. Um, but I find this works really good. And in fact, uh, just to prove this, yeah, so you, you can copy those values down. You can also move it, you move it if you want. So for example, if you go, no, actually I prefer the, the mirror to show a slightly different thing. Maybe my eyes look in a different way. You can go like, okay, let's go to like 493, 409. And you can see um, it uh, changes the height of this thing. Basically it changes where the, the you know, it changes the, the, where this is. You can see, you see? That's basically what you're changing. And, and look, this is the full window. So th we've got the full window here but we're just making it really big. It's, this, is, this whole methodology is very, very simple. Um, now, uh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was 372 for me. There we go, boom, done, easy. And that's it, that's the end. Uh, and you're just recording whatever settings you want within OBS. OBS, by the way, if you don't know, is a way to record your screen or different um, uh, applications or things like that. Um, and that's it, that's the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you create awesome videos. I'm super excited by this. Um, here are some of the things I can do with this. Um, I think it looks spectacular. I'm so, so happy to be able to share what I'm seeing in VR and it looks really awesome. Ah, but there is one little bonus thing. Um, when you're in VR, if you're using OpenXR Toolkit and you set your shaking reduction um, to 80% or something high like that, uh, you get even smoother videos and your head doesn't jerk, your head moves around but you don't get as much jerky footage. Um, and, and I really think that's better for people. Now, you might actually get a bit nauseous doing this, and I do not recommend doing this with um, uh, motion reprojection on. It, it will not work very well at all. Um, but without motion reprojection on, and if you get to, used to the basically the lag of moving your, of, when you move your head around, um, you get less um, motion. Uh, this will end up with better videos for your viewers. Uh, and, I, and I recommend that if you can, if you can stomach it. Um, otherwise, don't worry about it. 
So that's it. Hope this was helpful. Uh, enjoy some of the footage and uh, see you next time, folks.